Hello and welcome to this session on configuring FastCGI on IIS 7 to host PHP applications. Or in other words, how to get PHP installed and configured on IIS 7. My name is Mike Ormond, I work at Microsoft Limited in the UK and I'm going to be using Windows Server 2008 for this video. But the configuration uh, instructions apply equally well to Windows Vista Service Pack 1. If you want to see the explicit instructions for Vista Service Pack 1, I'll show you some references later on and they will give the, uh, the instructions for Vista Service Pack 1. So with that, let's get started. And the first thing we need to do is to bring up Server Manager in Windows Server 2008. Uh, this is a vanilla Windows Server 2008 install. I've just created a new virtual machine uh, with Windows Server 2008 and I'm logged in with administrator privileges. So inside uh, the Server Manager UI, let's just scroll down to the roles summary, which you'll see down there. And you'll see we currently have no roles installed. We need to go ahead and install the web server role and enable fast CGI support. So we click on add roles, brings up a wizard, move on to the second page and select the web server role to enable. When we do that, we'll be told that there are a couple of uh, dependencies, a couple of prerequisites that need to be installed. So go ahead and accept that. On to the next page. And the following page under Role Services, this is where we need to enable fast CGI support. And we do that by selecting the CGI option under Application Development. So just check the CGI checkbox there. And go ahead and next through that and then hit Install. And it'll go off and whir away for a, a minute or so while it installs the uh, web server role and the fast CGI support that we want. So we'll join again in a second when that's done. So hopefully at this point you're looking at a screen that looks similar to this where you can see that the web server installation has succeeded. Now before we go any further, there is an update that uh, we should install if we want to use fast CGI on uh, either Windows Server 2008 or on Windows Vista. Uh, the links, the appropriate links, depending on which version of Windows Server you're running, whether it's 32-bit, 64-bit, same goes for Vista, um, are also in the document that um, I'll reference at the, uh, at the end. Um, this is the, the link for the 32-bit version of Windows Server 2008, which I am running. So I'll go ahead and browse to that URL. And we'll get a number of um, warnings here from Internet Explorer running on Windows Server. These are uh, the enhanced security warnings saying that this site is not in our trusted zone. I'm just going to go ahead and add the Microsoft.com domain to my trusted sites. And in order to download the update, you will need to add the Microsoft.com domain or at least download.microsoft.com to the trusted sites. We don't need the web trends analytics etc. Um, but we should arrive at this page here which is the uh, appropriate update page for uh, your version of Windows Server or Vista. Click on the download link and then when prompted to do so click on open and that should go ahead and start the installer and then just click OK to install the update. And that's us done. And we can lose this IE. OK, so we got to the point now where we have the web server role with fast CGI role service uh, enabled and we've also um, installed the appropriate update for the fast CGI module on our server. The next thing we need to do is to go ahead and install and configure PHP. So we need to get the download of uh, the PHP binaries from the PHP website. 
So let's browse to the PHP website. And again, the um, enhanced security, if it's enabled in your server, then the enhanced security dialog may pop up. Um, I'm just going to add php.net to my trusted sites. And we get a list of um, binaries for uh, Windows. And the important thing here is that we recommend you use a non-thread safe build of PHP for maximum performance. Um, it provides the maximum performance and FastCGI ensures that um, the um, application is executing in a single threaded environment. So those uh, additional thread safety checks are not required. So we can go with a non-thread safe build. So we'll pick the PHP 5.28 latest build, um, non-thread safe zip package. Just grab that and pick a download location and save that. And I'll just save it to my desktop. Now, when that's done, all we're going to do is unpack those binaries into an appropriate folder. So let's create an appropriate folder just now while we wait. Go into our C drive. And let's just create a folder called PHP. And once we've done that, we can do a little bit of configuration uh, to make sure we're all set up right. So let's grab that download extract all and just browse to the folder I just created, which is C PHP and extract all those files into the PHP folder. Now, the first thing uh, we do is we um, rename the PHP any recommended file to just PHP dot any and then we need to go ahead and make a few changes to that file so the easy ways to do that is probably just with uh, notepad i haven't got very many other options on this server and grab that file and drop it into notepad so the first setting we need to find is the fast cgi impersonate setting and we are there and we'll just uncomment that and set the fast cgi impersonate setting to one the next thing we need to find is the cgi fix path in full setting Find that right in front of us. Again, uncomment that and set it to one. And then the next thing is the CGI force redirect setting. If you can't find it in one direction, oops, you've probably got a typo. There it is. CGI force redirect. In this case, we want that set to zero. In other words, turned off. You can see the line above there, safely turns off for IIS. In fact, you must. And then finally, the open baster 